welcome, welcome. You, coming in, cup of tea, late, sit down. <laughs> uh, that would have been funny if that actually happened. Hello and welcome. We are on week four. Let me just check real quick. Bear with me. Week six. We are on week six of my course, my MA costume making journey. So we're on week six, and this is the introduction to second skin. Yeah sounds real gross second skin is where you where to begin it's where you tape a form up so you wrap it in cling film and then you put masking tape over the cling film to keep it in place and then you can draw all over it draw the design that you want I'm trying to think of an example oh example let's get my mannequin i have the finished example which i know you're not meant to show before the actual process but we do things differently here this is titiana the mannequin she been with me a long time scooch back a bit this is my finished product for second skin so i wrapped the mannequin in cling film and then i taped it up and i drew these lines i've done it in uh, in like 10 different fabrics so that you can see where each pattern piece ends it was fully taped and I just drew it directly on, which you'll see in this video. And it does have to go through the bust points. So it does have to have a line going through the bust point um, so that you're able to curve it. Otherwise, it won't sit flat. You need the pattern to sit flat on the table. Otherwise, it won't work. Take it from me. It's a rule, okay? Follow the rules. Not all the rules. Some of them you can bend, but you know. I did a bit different on the back. I had this uh, sweeping panel to one shoulder. I put it together with frog fastenings, which you might be familiar with them. They're on like Chinese oriental dresses and garments and things. I'm afraid it doesn't fit me. I did try. It didn't look good. No, it didn't. Because she's much slimmer and more petite than I am. So um, it fits my mannequin. So this is how it looked at the end. So once you've taped up the mannequin and once you've drawn the lines on the mannequin, you then cut them all out. So when you cut the individual shapes out, when you piece them back together, it should create a garment like this. Here's the one I did earlier. Yeah, I should have been on Blue Peter. That would have been amazing. <laughs> so you cut the, the individual pieces out and you add seam allowance. And then when you put it all back together, it should create the shape that you originally had on the mannequin. So that is what you will see in this video so second skin is pretty fun i tend to do it on a mannequin rather than a person because mannequins don't complain people are like mm, it's too hot it's too sticky don't like it you know who you are that is why it's easier to do it on a mannequin because it does take quite a bit of time as well and if you haven't got a patient person they're not going to want to stand there wrapped in cling film and masking tape and sweating so it is a bit of a a new concept i say new it's fairly fairly new but that is the concept of second skin but it will only work for things that are fitted close to the body so you can further adapt it so that it becomes outerwear and something a bit more less form-fitting that was my attempt at second skin that was my first attempt at second skin i spent a lot of time on it but i think it turned out rather well i was quite happy with it so good times i hope you enjoy this video please like follow share skadoosh you know the usual stuff and i will see you guys next time bye so this is what the mannequin looked like um it has a cling film base and then the masking tape is put on top and i'm just drawing on the lines here. Don't know why I did it in pencil and then did it in pen. I used the tape measure to kind of keep my lines straight as I was moulding around the body. I let the mannequin guide me as well because I think that would be a better way to construct the garment instead of forcing my own design onto the garment.
You'll be able to see it more clearly when I do it in pen. But at the moment, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything. But, you know, <laughs> I promise you I am. Yas, here we go with the pen. You can finally see what I've been doing. Drawing those lines on. Also, the tape kept coming off and it really irritated me. Like, it doesn't stay stuck on cling film. But you know what does stay stuck on cling film? So there it is, I've drawn all my lines on, except for the bottom line. You're going to laugh at the bottom line because I was like, yeah, let's make it quirky. And it, it just resulted in a really dodgy looking hemline, which <laughs> you'll see in a minute. I actually pinned my tape measure to the mannequin as I was doing it because I was like, at least I'll be able to look see what it looks like. So there I am drawing the spiral. I was like, oh yeah, this will be really interesting. This will look really great. And then I was like, oh, it doesn't actually join. Um, mm, I'll just draw a line and uh, join it up. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. But this is me putting the notches in. Make sure you put the notches in because otherwise you won't be able to match it back up when you take it off. And um, that is a real pain. Also, important tip, label your pieces. I repeat, label your pieces because you won't know what order they go in. So this is my attempt at covering branding, which I've realised is fruitless in the end, So, but I couldn't be bothered taking it out again. But this is us trying to cut the pieces off with the least amount of snips, because that's what we do for fun. So there it is, off the mannequin. So I start cutting into it now. You want that to sit flat. So when you cut into it, it'll look like that. So all the pattern pieces sit flat. This was the first twirl that I did, just to check that all the pattern pieces fit together and actually made something. <laughs> I think it looks quite good actually. I was like, yes. So I did the real thing. And I use 10 different fabrics so that you can see where the difference is and all the individual seams. I just got like a load of fat quarters, it was great. And finished it off with frog fastenings. But there you go, that is Second Skin. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>